In the west, we've got a substantial bushfire risk again today. Yesterday, we had a bushfire out of control, producing emergency bushfire warning in the Bunbury area. And again, that fire could flare up today. So here are some images of what we saw yesterday with the smoke moving across, particularly the Glen Iris region, uh, leading to those dangerous conditions. And also, quite a few people had to flee their homes. And more than 7,000 homes were left without power as this fire ravaged the area. One home unfortunately was engulfed by the flames and today hopefully conditions aren't that bad but we do see some dangerous fire weather across the region with warm temperatures again and gusty easterly winds continuing right across western australia at the moment and so you can see the hot dry gusty winds spreading right across into bunbury and perth and surrounding areas and therefore we've got High to very high fire danger spreading right across Western Australia. So dangerous conditions indeed. But the dangerous fire weather is also affecting Victoria today as well. So we've got very high fire danger across inland parts of Victoria and a couple of portions of New South Wales and South Australia. And that's with that cold front making its way through at the moment. So uh, there is also... Uh, a couple of fires that are out of control in the state. So it's important uh, to have your bushfire survival plans ready and we will keep you updated right through the afternoon in terms of what the fire danger risks are with the particular fires in the region, especially if one of them triggers an emergency warning. Now, in terms of what's happening with the flooding situation in Queensland, we're only seeing a few showers running along the coast at the moment. So uh, not too wet through Queensland uh, in terms of what's falling from the sky, but the ground, that's where it's exceptionally wet at the moment. Uh, northern New South Wales and southern Queensland have also seen a number of showers moving through. So up until 9am, we had uh, some reasonable falls in the region. Uh, almost 30 millimetres was recorded at Byron Bay and Gold Coast also saw uh, similar falls to the Sunshine Coast where it was 9 millimetres of rainfall and 11 millimetres was recorded in Brighton in parts of Brisbane. But you can see up in the north, Innisfail by 9am recorded 13 millimetres in the gauge. So not nearly as heavy or as wet as it has been in previous days. And that's why we have all of this flooding across the region. So you can see anywhere shaded in maroon or red has seen more than 150 millimetres of rainfall in the past week and anywhere in black has seen more than 400 millimeters and that's why there's been such substantial flooding in the last few days in far northern Queensland and also right across the west we're still seeing substantial flooding so in the tropics these are the three rivers where we have major or moderate flooding continuing so the Herbert the Murray and the Tully and that's why we still have uh, the Bruce Highway shut uh, for quite a long distance, almost 20 or so kilometres. And in uh, the west of Queensland, so in the Gulf Country and also down around Longreach, we still have moderate or major flooding continuing.